Blaze Media, high school bans girls from girls' locker room after some object to changing with biological man. The subtitle reads, Is this how we do feminism now? Yeah, did you not realize this was what was going to happen in 1920 when you started voting for this garbage? Like, um, women are just like men. They can do everything men can do, only better. And then uh, where do you think this is going to lead? You put women in the position of men, there's going to be men acting like women. Not, <laughs> it doesn't take rocket science. This was something that, that was... um done throughout history i remember reading a book on um on knights pirates and spies and there was a case of a, a man who murdered someone in um france in a duel and then he he was a small man like me immigrated to england and lived the rest of his life as a woman and nobody knew until he died he was actually a man so you know if men can get away with this stuff they're going to get away with it it's because people do what people are going to do Thank you all for stopping by my channel. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. And remember to uh, watch the video at the very end. That does seem to help the algorithm more than anything. You can find me on Rumble and on Twitter. If you're on one of those channels, I'm on YouTube mostly. And you can check out my merchandise store as well. It's down in the description. So you got a, a keyhole view of a locker room here. All right. That's a terrible locker room. I wouldn't want to change in there, but you could. On the news and why it matters, Blaze TV host Sarah Gonzalez and guest Jorge Ventura and John Doyle discussed the latest blow to women's rights as almost an entire girls volleyball team have been forced out of their locker room to accommodate one transgender student. Okay, so then the question becomes, can you prove that transgenderism is a real thing? If you can't, then you're just, you know, pretending to be this thing and should, should stop because... This is so ridiculous. You knew this stuff was going to happen. It was only a matter of time. We saw all of all the indications that this was going to happen. So men and women's sports. Well, how long is it before there's... You've got men and women's sports. You've got men and women's bathrooms. How long is it going to be before you get men and women's locker rooms? How, is, before, how long before you get men who who just want to say, hey, look, I'm, I'm, I'm a girl, even though you got a dangle do. I'm crikey. She's calling me by the dangle do. And um, just wander into the women's locker room. Do whatever you want to do. A Vermont high school banned the girls' volleyball team from using their locker room after several team members objected to having to change clothes in front of a transgender teammate. You mean in front of a male teammate. Just call it what it is. Families were told that under state law, male students can use whatever locker room they identify with. So can female students. The dispute began after the trans student allegedly made an inappropriate comment while the girls were dressing. Team member Blake Allen, didn't even change his name, told WCAX-TV, Allen made it clear that he does not object to having, oh, maybe Blake is actually a she, uh, that she does not object to having the trans student on the team or at school, but is uncomfortable with the biological boys in the girls' locker room. Yeah, tell that to the girl who got her face broke playing volleyball because she was playing against a, quote, man who thinks that he is, quote, a woman. You know, you get what you deserve, really, ladies. This is this is all because of you. You you wanted this. I know you're thinking, I never wanted this. No, no, no. I just wanted equality. I'll, oh, oh, you want you want equality? Well, how can we keep voting? How can we keep voting for these idiots who want to make this stuff a thing? Biden came out and said, "Hey, look, this is this is the way it's going to be. We're going to have we're going to trans everything. It's going to be trans, 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 trans." For all transgender Americans watching at home, especially young people, you're so brave. I want you to know your president has your back. Joe, the Biden administration announcing next month U.S. citizens will be able to choose X as the gender marker on their passport. Tell us more about that and what else the White House is doing to support transgender Americans. The school reportedly told families that the school has plenty of space where students who feel uncomfortable with the laws may change in privacy. But according to Allen, they want all the girls who feel uncomfortable, so pretty much 10 girls, to get changed in a single stall bathroom, which would take over 30 minutes where if one person got changed separately, it would take a minute, like no extra time. So they're saying, I mean, that was kind of, I, I don't know, maybe I read it wrong, but it was poorly worded. They're saying you have a single stall where the girls can go change, single stall bathroom. Well, that's going to take each girl at least three minutes to change, and there's nine girls. So there's, it's going to take a lot of time, and it's probably going to take more than three minutes for a girl to change. I don't know. I'm not a girl. I don't know what, what it takes now, the school is conducting an investigation into allegations that the girls harassed the male student. I feel like for stating my opinion that I don't want a biological man changing with me, that I should not have harassment charges or bullying charges. They should all be dropped, Alan stated. Yes, they should all be dropped. Even if you were actually harassing this person, those charges should be dropped because 
This is just a man trying to get into a woman's space so that he can see some tatas. I can't blame him. I mean, you know, I like looking at girls. He's going to use the system to his advantage. And the women want this. The women keep saying, that, you know, we need equality. We need, we need to have all these open doors for everybody. Everybody's the same. Everybody's equal, blah, blah, blah. I don't say that. I know that men and women are different. This is absolute madness, Sarah asserted. Who are Sarah's? Um, she, yeah, she's the host. Okay. I think this is just like male excellence, you know, John said facetiously. At all ages, boys just like to conquer things. And you saw all this nonsense in the latter half of the 20th century. Oh, Title IX, we want to play sports too. And now the boys are just taking those locker rooms back. And we are taking the sports teams back. And we are winning the championships again. And you just love to see it. Wow. That's, that's pretty dark, man. I mean, women are, are not, as, they're not as good at being women as men are. I mean, we got this article here. Look at this. Bruce Caitlyn Jenner named Woman of the Year. It's just, I, I, you know, men are better at being women than women are. I mean, I don't... Is there anything that women can do that's just... That they're better at than men? I mean, anything, really. We got, like, this whole society here that says, Hey, look, look men, men can do it better. It's, it's really easy. Yeah, I don't know. I can't, I can't think of a single thing. I mean, it's, 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 like, it's like just men are just, just better at everything. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, we got, we got women beauty queens now, right? Men are better at being pretty, even when they're really ugly. It's, it's just crazy to me. Ridiculous. On a more serious note, this is a true patriarchy, Sarah interjected. Literally, men are replacing women in every single thing. That literally is the patriarchy that leftists keep warning us about. It's here, and you're supporting it. No, you're ushering it in. <laughs> Watch the video clip below to catch the conversation or find full episodes of the news. We can watch the video maybe. Uh, let's see. A Vermont high school uh, has banned several female volleyball players from their own locker room. This is absolute madness. Uh, after they complained that a transgender student, so a biological male with a penis, with whom they have to share the locker room, allegedly made some remarks that made the girls quite uncomfortable. Here's a video of that. High school student Blake Ellen and her teammates are currently barred from using the locker room after some of the girls on the team objected to allowing a transgender player in the girls' locker room. My mom wants me to do this interview to try to make a change. Ellen says the dispute started when the trans student made an inappropriate comment while members of the volleyball team were getting changed. She says her issue is not with having the trans student on the team or at school, but specifically in the locker room. Under state law, the transgender student could use whatever locker room they identified with. In an email to family, school of I wonder what that inappropriate statement was. It was like, hey, you got nice tatas? Hey, I like how long your legs are. What? Oh, that's a cute dress? I don't know. I mean, what, what are these inappropriate? Because women will go nuts over any little statement. They'll be like, oh my God, you asked me out for coffee. How dare you? It, literally, women will get upset. By, hi, how you doing? Oh, you're a, you're a pervert. What? I just said hi. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. So I wonder what that statement was. Officials said that the school has plenty of space where students who feel uncomfortable with the laws may change in privacy. They want all all the girls who feel uncomfortable, so pretty much 10 girls to get changed in a single style bathroom, which would take over 30 minutes, when if one person got changed separately, it would take a minute. I mean, right, like, so, or we could just have the mentally ill, confused child who likely is, uh, has abusive parents who are leading them in this direction just change privately, as they just indicated we could do. Wow, what do you know, a solution to the problem? Or maybe we should just not allow the mentally ill, abused child to play sports. I mean, that's just, like I've said before, if you're trans, if you want to be trans, you don't get to compete in any meaningful way. That's just how it is. You want to play a, a neighborhood pickup game? Fine, knock yourself out, but you don't get to play on an actual league or team. That would make too much sense, though, so. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, a, I'm a mug is half full kind of guy. I think this is just like male excellence, you know? If you look at, like, at all ages, boys just like to conquer things. And you saw all this nonsense in the latter half of the 20th century. Oh, Title IX. Oh, we want to play sports, too. And now the boys are just taking those locker rooms back, and we're taking the sports teams back, and we're winning the championships again. And you just love to see it. But I suppose on a more serious note. Um, it will, this really <laughs> is. Like, this is the true patriarchy. Well, like, they complain about that all the time. It's like, no, literally men are replacing women it's in like every single thing. It's like, that literally right is the patriarchy that you guys kept warning us about. It's here and you're supporting uh, it. There is something to be said about the common, and I understand this. It really it's not actually the patriarchy, really. It's This is just clown world. Because the patriarchy says that the men dominate women, a situation we've never really had in the Western world. But, okay. 
uh, men are not you know, actually subjugating women in any kind of social way. They're just kind of moving into their spaces and taking over. It really does come from a position of good faith where people will say things like, well, I'm okay with this and this, but what I don't like is when it's in the locker room. What I don't like is when it's shoved down my throat or whatever, but it's like if you... No, this is a slippery slope and you're going to be like, oh, slippery slope fallacy. You're making the slippery slope fallacy anti woke where you can't do that. Yeah, and people were saying slippery slope about gay rights and look where we are now. People are literally marrying animals. Marriage means basically nothing because we said, oh, okay, well, fine, we'll just... We, okay, we won't make being gay illegal. Okay, okay, we'll give gay people rights. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we'll we'll, get, we'll make gay marriage illegal. Okay, okay, okay. If you're not gay, if you're not trans, you're evil. It it, it just keeps getting worse. I'm not saying that, that, that gay people shouldn't have rights or anything. That's not the point of what I'm saying. I'm not saying that they should have rights either. I'm just saying that slope, slope fallacy is not a, not a thing in this case because we see it happening right before our eyes. If you are fundamentally like accepting a disordered identity then there is really no reason why that shouldn't be allowed to exist within any any space that you would enter. I mean, if you're going to accept that this person is actually like, you know, it's a female's body trapped in a male, or a female's uh, brain trapped in a male's body or vice versa, there's really no reason at that point if you're going to accept something that is fundamentally backwards and disordered, why then your like subjective sense of personal comfort should then be like played as a reason for why they shouldn't be allowed to enter their life. Could not have said it better myself. Thank you, John. Like you've allowed them into, you know, to inch so far that it's like that last space at that point is just irrelevant. Mm -hmm. okay. I, don't, I don't know whether to be mad or just laugh because it's so comical. So and then you wonder why like other countries hate us because yeah. we're, we're, we're doing this. <laughs> I mean, it's there's like literally no, no more words for it. I'm actually glad that that she's at least doing the interview and, and shout out to her mom who's supporting her. Change the narrative on this situation. But I mean, if you're a migrant, like, why would you come here? Our chicks have at this point dude real like no, i mean real? i mean I, i've been at the board i'm like dude you, you want to turn around buddy 50 percent of the population got chicks with thank you jorge for saying that that was very actually eloquent of you as well twig and berries down there for the ladies let's get out of this here so i want to look at why this is happening a little bit we got voter identity here identification with political party by gender so you got men here who are saying hey look only 32 percent of them are democrat the rest are either independent or they are uh, Republican. And then with women, you got 41%. Well, who's going to vote for this stuff? You know, women are voting in the Democrats. Here we got 56%, according to this chart, 56% of women vote Democrat, whereas only 42% um, of men. So the charts I'm looking at, I'm, I'm just seeing that there's more women who are voting Democrat, and the Democrats are the ones pushing for this crap. The Democrats are saying, hey, look, you know, women, you, you, can, you can have your own spaces, but we got, we got men over here who claim that they're women so that they can just outdo you. It's going to come down to us having two sports leagues, period. It's just two, two different types of teams. It's going to be one that's male and one's the, one that's transgender. Because you don't see like men transitioning to women and then going, hey, I want to compete against men. Or you don't see women transitioning to men and saying, hey, I want to compete against men. Right? We've seen this Fallon Fox and all the other trans people we've seen who are in MMA or men who transition to women in MMA. And they're just like almost killing their opponents because they used to be men like i've said many times i'm not a very large man and you put me in the ring with a woman who's the same size as me i'm gonna win it's just she better be really good at what she does because i'm gonna do some damage uh that's just how it is with men so women keep keep voting for these dems who want this to happen keep pushing for this years ago now is there was this transgender that came on to npr and was like oh you know i'm i'm a competitive runner and I only took third in my my last race, you know, I used to be a man. So this whole notion that like men are just, just transitioning so they can win in sports is not true. But, but what would you have placed if you hadn't been a man? Would you have placed 33rd? How many people were in the race? They said nothing about this. This this man who thinks he's a woman said nothing about how many people were in the Maybe there's only three people in the race. I came in third once in a race too. There's only three people in the race and I was way far behind the other two. And it also doesn't say anything about how hard this individual trained. If this individual trained as if he wanted to win, would he have come in first? Maybe he just like, oh, I don't need to train that hard because, you know, I got male hormones, male bone density, male muscle mass. I'll, I'll be good. Male lung capacity. I'll be good. I'll be fine. I don't need to train so hard. So it, it comes down to there's a lot of other factors that you're not telling us about in there as to why you might have come in third place instead of first. But see, men know this going in. It's like, hey, I want to compete in these sports, and I'm just, I'm getting killed by these guys. I'm getting just slaughtered by these guys. Oh, you know what? I kind of feel like a woman. Maybe I'll just transition, and, and then I can actually place. Maybe I can get some recognition. Maybe I can actually earn some money off of this. I keep saying, 
If you are trans, you don't get to compete in any meaningful way. Too bad. That's the life. You don't get to do everything you want to do in life. You just don't. That's how it is. So I'm sure that 99.99% of my audience is male. If you're a lady out there, drop a comment down below. Let me know. How many of you guys out there have seen a girl that you wanted to date and you didn't get to date her? How many of you? Just go. Just go. You can leave that out in the comments. It's just like, yeah, that happened to me like 15,000 times. I think that's about, about how, where I'm at on that <laughs> number of girls I've wanted to date but didn't get to. So anyway, thank you for watching. That's all I got for this time. Please remember to like, comment, and share, and I'll see you in the next video.